It's um, in this whole jujitsu movement in America. So much is spoken about. Our dad did amazing work. Our uncles, who all together, they changed the world along with um, the Grand Masters up there. But um, a lot of people don't know, but uh, they talk about our dad as the father of jiu-jitsu in America. And our mom really is the mother of jiu-jitsu in America. What she had to go through to make those early days possible in the garage, 10, 11 years. Um, my dad was teaching 12 hours a day, and she's raising five kids in a madhouse. You know, it was very tough. Um, she's not really spoken about, but she was every bit as significant in everything that we had. And um, it's, uh, she's ill right now. Um, and it looks like maybe one week left or two weeks left for her. So it's, um, we're happy to know that she is very fulfilled. She's very, very, lived a very full life raised all five of her kids, my siblings, Hito, myself, and the other ones you guys know of, um, raised her grandkids, the Holix kids she was instrumental in, and it, um, has helped you know, raise our kids, uh, the most recent generation here. So she's really raised three generations of kids, had a, the privilege, and she's very happy to see what we've done with jiu-jitsu. Um, she's witnessed it from the very beginning, first student in the garage, and has now seen what it has become all over the world and, uh, and to that, you know, she says um, she's content. So she tells us, I'm happy, don't worry about me, honey. I'm going to be just fine. And uh, how proud she is of us. On one hand, we so badly wanted her to fight and to pursue every treatment under the sun. But that was, that was our wish, not hers. You know, she was very uncomfortable. It's a very aggressive form of cancer that... Um, there's, there's, there's not a positive outlook for it. So um, it's been very challenging for the whole family. And we've had to probably, in, in one of the most significant ways of my life, apply you know, what we've learned in jiu-jitsu to help kind of face this challenge. Um, because at some point, we have to realize that Rather than being the help we want to be for someone, sometimes we need to be the help that they need from us. Um, and identifying that what she needs is just love and gratitude and support is, uh, was the conclusion that we came to. And that's what she gets. All the love, all the gratitude imaginable, all the support. And um, we're just happy to be here to see all of this and just to reflect on this evening, such a special night after such a hard two years for us. Um, and then to be able to ultimately dedicate that to her. This one's for her. This one's for her. And it's a great reminder of just all of the people that are parents that are raising kids. It's, you know, and we, we grew up a family of, you know, how many kids, so many children. And like he said, it, it's so true that the mom is seen very, very little, but yet doing so much. And that's what Victor highlighted that Suzanne Gracie, our mother, raised us. So it trickles down from father and mother to us. And my mom is 50%. So we're so, forever grateful. And many of you don't know, but if you've enjoyed jujitsu, ultimately, without even knowing it, it's in large part due to her sacrifices early on that um, we're so grateful for. So let's dedicate this one to her. Thank you, guys.
Almoço de despedida do professor L. em Los Angeles, né? Indo embora pro Brasil amanhã. Yes. 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 Yes.